The previous year for the 74 of Mike Bond was quite the roller coaster, and there were early talks that Bond may not return full time in 2018. An 8th place points finish in 2017 was not a reflection of the speed of the number 74 car. Bond would end the 2017 with another Bud Light SBS Classic, which surely influenced the team's decision for 2018. Opening day started off great for the Mexico New York driver as he would pick up where he left off by taking another checkered flag in his heat race. The start of the Tony White Memorial 35 found Bond battling to the front with the number 9 car of Jack Patrick and gets around into turn 1 and slammed by the double zero of Danny Kay with nowhere to go. The resulting damage would send the 74 car to the pits and a 20th place finish. So race number 2 of the 2018 season found the number 74 on a mission to get back to the front. Bond would roar through the field in his heat race to claim another heat victory to start the night. Handicapped with a fourth place starting spot for the 30 lap SPS feature, Bond was determined to get back into victory lane. Much of the early laps saw Bond trying to get past the double zero of Danny Kay. There were some close calls off turn four, but the all time winningest SBS driver was not to be denied. Just past the halfway point, Bond was finally able to make the move and take over the lead. Mike Bond would pull away and grab the much needed victory after a dismal opening day DNF. Much like the previous season, Bond's good luck was short lived. An early heat race accident saw the number 74 get pinched into the inside wall and off on the hook. When the feature came around, the number 74 car was in need of further repairs and never really got up to full speed. Bond would end race number three with another 20th place finish. The final June race of the SBS season found Bond return to championship form. The handicapped start surely helped that catapult the number 74 to the front. Bond was able to show his normal speed and had no trouble getting up to second place spot for the Independence Weekend 35, finishing right behind first time winner Schulich. The road to the SBS Championship began to take shape when July rolled around. Two of the all-time winningest SBS drivers would battle it out during the feature. In the closing laps, Bond would get around after a slight contact with the eventual race winner Anthony Lacerdo. Bond would once again finish outside the top, much like the roller coaster season from 2017. Bond would head back to the Steel Palace the following week and fire off at the sixth position. Bond would pick off some fast drivers en route to the lead, passing the 0-1 of Doyle and defending champ Dave Cliff. Once Bond got to the lead, there was no looking back, as he went on to cruise to win number two on the season. Bond's 74 team would continue their streak of top 10 runs through the end of July and into early August. The late season consistency would now find Bond squarely in the hunt for the seventh SBS championship. The August 11th Twin 20s were another bright spot for the 74 as Mike Bond would pick his way through the field and grab victory number three on the year. Bond would get stuck back in traffic for the second Twin 20 but was able to manage a respectable seventh place finish. Heading into championship night on August 18th, Bond now found himself in contention for the SPS title, trailing by a mere 37 points. Solid practice laps and a great heat race lap showed that the 74 team was ready for the challenge. Bond would start in the 11th spot as the green flag waved for the 30 lapper. With fellow point chasers lined up in row number two, it seemed a bit out of reach to gain points unless they ran into trouble. Bond would eventually claim a sixth place finish at the checkers to cap up another up and down year for the 74 team. With an impressive five top fives, eight top tens, three victories, and two DNFs, Mike Bond was able to finish third in the 2018 SBS Championship points. Congratulations to the driver of the 4.7's FFB chassis, number 74, Mike Bond.